All right, this is Sideshow. Turns out Rhino has some pathetic security measures on his YouTube channel. So I've decided to hijack it and show you some ultralight backpacking tips that you can put into your bug outfit. All right, these are the ultralight stoves that I would bring on a particular camping trip. You don't want to bring any kind of white gas stove, they're too heavy. These are, are what you want to look for and maybe this will give you some ideas. This is, uh, if you want the most convenient convenient stove you can get, this is the Jetboil Soul Aluminum. It uses propane. What's so great about this one is that everything fits inside its own cup. So everything is protected inside your pack. You take off the plastic lid, the propane canister fits inside the pot. The stove also fits inside the pot that you flip it out. It comes with a nice little two cup uh, bottom ring. That, well, what's super nice about this stove it has a heat exchanger on the bottom with these fins. It makes it very efficient. Uh, it only takes a few seconds to put together. You just uh, snap the bottom on, take your fuel canister, pop it on, pour it in. It has its own piezo igniter system. So you open it, and you got fire. Yeah, so easy to put together. And this will boil two cups of water in under two minutes. So you can even bring this as a group stove. You'll get uh, you know, your, your boiled water for your uh, freeze-dried uh, meals for a whole group within under 10 minutes. However, there are lighter systems out there. For example, this is a trail design called Dara Cone. I keep it in a nice little Cuban fiber sack, very lightweight. This system weighs half as much as the jet boil system. Has a, I have a carbon fiber lid. This is a Trail Designs 1210 alcohol fuel stove. Everything, again, like the jet boil, fits inside the cup so nothing gets uh, smashed inside your pack. What you see here. This is titanium foil, very heat resistant. This will burn both alcohol, espit, and wood. It can withstand the, the heat from a wood stove. You just slide the fins together. You take two titanium uh, stakes, which will you, will, you'll use for your tent so there's no redundant weight. And this makes what you see is kind of like a, a volcano. It traps all the heat inside the, the volcano so when you take your cup, there's no heat escape. It's uh, completely windproof. So oxygen can still get in from the holes inside the front, but there's no, uh, no holes in the front to, for wind to, to come in. What's nice about alcohol fuel, is readily available and cheap. It's uh, what you the yellow heat from a fuel, from an auto parts store. That's what you can burn. Also, denatured alcohol from any paint store. So if you have a Home Depot or any kind of a gas station nearby, you can find that fuel. It's also cheap. You can take it in any kind of plastic container, and you can take exactly however much fuel you need for your trip. Unlike a propane stove. You have to take all of this fuel with you, even if you only need a few burns. With alcohol fuel, if I only need two ounces of fuel, I can take that on my trip. What's also nice about alcohol stove is it's a bit more stealthy. So if you're doing stealth camping, you don't want to be seen or heard. Alcohol is completely silent burning. Okay, so that's the alcohol stove. But let's say you don't want to spend so much money. You can make your own alcohol stove as well. This right here is a 30 cent can of cat food. You take it, clean it out, um, and all you do is use a, a hole punch to put holes around. This is called a super cat stove that you can look up. Well, it costs you 30 cents. This is also a cheap, a hard anodized aluminum mug that I got off Amazon for $10. So with this, this will also burn alcohol. It uses, uses roughly three quarters of an ounce of alcohol to boil two cups of water. 
make an make a super cheap uh, windscreen out of uh, a turkey baster a turkey baster tray, which is also aluminum. Just cut a ring out for you. You also have an alcohol uh, ultralight stove that that only costs about ten bucks. So this is one of the three systems that I'll always bring with me on any outing I go on. So this is Sideshow. I just need to tell Rhino that he needs to lighten up his gear. His bag is way too heavy. So if you liked me better than Rhino, let me know in the comments below. This is Sideshow with Survival Skills 101. Are you prepared to look forward?